we've got some options. A bit of bad news. The the wind is big and it's going the opposite way to the tide, which equates to a very choppy sea with big breakers. We've just been advised by the coxswain of the lifeboat where we're staying tonight um, that launching tomorrow and on the longest day as we have planned is not an option. So now we're looking at Friday as possibly an option. We're all very tired. We've come up with four plans. Um, morale, however, is still high. The sun is shining. When you look at the bay here, as you can see now, it looks like that's not too much of a problem. But this is a very sheltered bay. If you can, I don't know if you can pick up over there the rock out there in the yeah. distance. Can you see the breakers out there hitting that? Yeah. They're going 40, 50 foot into the air. That's what we're going to be up against. And none of us want to orphan our children. And if we were to set sail tomorrow, that's potentially what we do. Um, we're up for a challenge, but we don't want to be idiots. We're going to take a wander up around the corner now. It's all very well looking at the, the water from the top of the cliff, but we want to get down on sea level and see what it's doing. So we can, the analogy would be sitting in your boat, what we can cope with. Um, bearing in mind that this is Land's End and we're talking about going around the Lizard, which is two of the most hairiest parts of coastline in England. It is getting a bit scary now. We knew it was going to be a bit scary. we just got to hope that wind's going to be, die down in our favour and we can have a, a tailwind that's going to push us along and not one that's going to cause chop. A good long chat with, with Terry, the, the skipper of the lifeboat, who's very supportive. Said it, you know, it will happen, but it's looking more like Saturday. Um, wish we lose two days. We've only got a certain amount of leave and a window to do it. So at the moment, although we're thinking very rationally, everyone's very tired, a little bit hungry. We're going to go and have a look. I think tomorrow's out, so we're going to go and have a look tonight, sit down tonight, have a meal, and come up with some plans. And then tomorrow, depending on the tide and the weather, we'll sort out what we can do. Got a big smile, big smile, stay positive, stay cheerful. Um, we're all experienced paddlers, but you don't want to have to pull. I don't want to get to a situation where I see, and I'm saying, we shouldn't be out here, we have to be rescued, because that wouldn't be good for anybody. We'd put other people's lives at risk trying to rescue us. That's silly. I mean, here now it looks great, but around the corner, it's not so good. Um, We'll take some more footage in a minute and we'll see what the crack is. See you in a sec. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. we'll still get back to you. We've just climbed up, we've struggled on the rocks, we've climbed up to this point. That's where we were originally, just down there by the pier, a little jetty. We've looked at the sea every pan round. What you can see now. Although it's fairly treacherous, it's doable. Well within our capabilities. Uh, so we're going to go further around the corner now, further the middle comes around, seven or eight miles, down to another point so we can assess what the, the sea state's doing there. Again. Well, as I said, we'll see you in a minute. Here we are, down at Port. I've forgotten the name of this place, but I shall tell you later. You can see the sea behind me is huge. Now, this is two weeks ago, this is flat car for our crossing. But that is not the best environment for a fully laden sea bike to be on the first day of our journey. No matter what's early, it's unsafe. But anyway, we put ourselves in danger, we put other people in danger as well. And the motto of this is, the whole journey is, have the challenge, but don't take risks. And that's our message to everybody. And this, that is, just take a risk. Even the top of the cliff, I'll show you in a minute, I've done a clip. It's doing this a mile, mile and a half out, two miles out. This is not the safe place to be in a sea kayak. It'd be great to take a little sporting boat, and zip around to the surf, apart from all the rocks underneath. Um, but now you've got about 15 miles of rock that way, with no outs. And about three or four miles of rock that way, with no outs. So, at the moment, it's looking grim as to where we can put in and where we're going to put in. See you in a bit.
well. As I said, see in a moment, here we are. But down here, I don't know if it gives it the full appreciation of what exactly is what. At this moment in time, it looks big, but it doesn't look that big. Um, but we've been assessing it. Mark, I don't know if you can pick him out, he's just up on the rocks over there, going to look at the corner. If we were to get into a problem out here, going out for a day surfing, no problem. Laden boats, going out in this, it just isn't an option. And in a moment we go to the top, and I'll show you some of the breakers, about half a mile out. They would just trash our boats. It's a very, very, just out there you can see what's going on. Good. Um, quite worried really about getting in there we just can't do it not at the moment so we're gonna have to have a look tomorrow and see how it is it's just not worth taking the risk there you have it after seeking advice from two coxswains from both the local life both local lifeboat stations we've decided to miss the first leg and put it on the other side of the lizard. Apparently two weeks ago that was flat calm. Um, and they've said it'd be full hardly and potentially disastrous if he went this So, chin's up, morale's still good. We've lost today, but hey ho. And by virtue of our own advice, we're still recording. Yeah. For our own advice promoting sea safety. Does anyone say that it's safe to go to sea in that position? So we we'll follow our own advice. This is the first leg and we will be back later on in the year, maybe two or three weeks time, when we get the leave together and all get some time off. We're gonna come down to complete this first leg, which is 30 miles, which is about a day's paddling. See you tomorrow.